morning and welcome to Southern Sports Network. I'm Lindsay Settlemeyer. And I'm Zach Smith, here to fill you in on the latest Moccasin Sports News. Mocs Baseball kicked off their first home series of the season this past weekend. On Saturday, the team was down 4-1 at the top of the sixth, but the Mocs battled back with runs batted in by Sean Sanders, Evan Barnes, and Logan Browning. Browning's two-run homer gave Florida Southern's baseball team a 6-4 lead in the bottom of the sixth. The score would prove to hold on until the game was called due to rain after six innings. Sunday's action was a split for the boys on the diamond, with the Mocs dropping game one of a doubleheader and pulling out a win in game two after ten innings of battle. FSC will be back home on February 12th at Henley Field to take on Claflin. The Florida Southern women's golf team fought through wind and rain last weekend and the Tuscaloosa Intercollegiate Tournament. The Mocs had a strong showing on day one, but were overcome by Armstrong State on day two. Despite the loss, sophomore Abby Williams had a career-best finish, shooting a two-day total of 156. FSC will host the Lady Mocs Classic on February 22nd and 23rd at Grasslands Golf Club and Country Club. Women's basketball continued their winning ways against the Palm Beach Atlantic Sailfish on Wednesday. The Lady Mocs outscored the Sailfish in all but one period of the matchup, where Palm Beach chipped away at the Mocs' lead in the third. Senior Sydney Payne stepped up in the fourth period where she scored 13 of her 15 points on the night to solidify an 86-73 victory for the Mocs. Sophomore Jensen Blasage racked up a team-high six assists and a pair of three-pointers, while Anya fuchs robotine grabbed nine rebounds. All players that took the court against Palm Beach sunk at least one basket and came out with one rebound. The women faced Florida Tech on the road on Saturday, and the Lady Mocs rallied in the third quarter to force overtime, but ultimately ended up losing by a score of 58-53. to Jensen Blaslage led the team with 11 points. Mariah Harris was inactive for the Mocs. This puts the overall record at 17-4 and 18-4, 8-4 in the Sunshine State Conference. The team is hosting Rollins tonight at the Jenkins Fieldhouse at 5.30 p.m. The men's basketball team took on Palm Beach Atlantic last Wednesday in a non-conference matchup. Here's Will Fisackerly with a look at the action. Last Wednesday night, your men's basketball team looked to snap a four-game losing streak while hosting PBA at home. Junior guard Sheldon Zablotny kicked the mocks off and off in the first half, scoring eight points. He finished tonight with 11 points and two rebounds. At halftime, freshman Mark Bucknam attempted to make a half-court shot for $10,000. Understandably, he couldn't believe it himself. Uh, hasn't really sunk in yet. Leading only by two after the half, the Mox relied on senior guard Dylan Travis to increase the lead. He finished tonight with 28 points. Freshman Jarrell Spellman scored 10 points, pulled in 13 rebounds, and blocked a school record 12 shots to achieve only the second triple double in Florida Southern College history. The Mocs beat PBA 91-77 and will host Rollins this Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. For Southern Sports Network, I'm Will Fisacker. The men took on Florida Tech on the road Saturday night. Coming off the win against Palm Beach Atlantic last Wednesday, the Mocs looked to get a double-digit win on, for the season. Dylan Travis missed this game with an ankle injury, but Sheldon Zablotny stepped up for the Mocs. Zablotny had a career-high 28 points. Dominique Williams contributed 20 points, and Michael Volovic finished with 17 points. But it wasn't enough as Florida Tech won the game 82-79. The Mocs will take on Rollins tonight at home at 7.30 p.m. and hopes to break the recent skid in conference play. Our men's lacrosse team fell to 20th ranked Queens University of Charlotte 6-12 this past Sunday in their season opener. Coach Marty Ward was hopeful for a rebound after the team's 6-8 overall record, the game was tense, with seven of the game's goals being scored in the first period alone, five of them belonging to Queens. The men's lacrosse team play again on Saturday, February 13th, against Young Harris College in Young Harris, Georgia. The men's tennis team fell to Stetson 6-1 in their season opener against DeLand this past Friday. The tennis tournament against Flagler, scheduled for this Saturday, was postponed due to weather. Both the men and women's game have been rescheduled for today at 3 p.m. Thank you everyone for joining us today. I'm Zach Smith. And I am Lindsay Settlemeyer, and this has been Southern Sports Network. See you next week.